Hello all of you, risk takers and truth seekers to the podcast Life to Battle. Today it's a day 17 of 21 days traveling across the five countries and continents. But as you know, I'm in uh, Berlin now. It's um, I need to make a little bit light more on my face because it's a bald head, as you can see. Anyway, uh, I'm staying in this amazing hotel in a central district of the Berlin. It's called Titanic Gendarme Markt Berlin. So like it's, um, as I understood, I didn't pronounce this properly for sure. So feel free to correct me. It's a Titanic Gendarme Markt. Uh, this is a very luxurious hotel. It's uh, 200 meters from the from the main square here in Berlin. From this position here, where I'm this hotel, it's a very oriented Turkish uh, hotel. It's a uh, top notch, the service, the pricing, the, the customer service, it is really, really impeccable. I highly recommend this hotel even before I continue talking to you guys. Have the gym. My room, it's a very spacious, very clean. They come checking a few times per day. Uh, and it's not noisy. To be honest with you, like Berlin, it's a very, very large city. And in this street I am, it is very, very quiet. Even many cars passing by. But the one thing you wanna realize straight away, you on East Berlin, previously known as Berlin because of the type of the building's architecture. But this hotel Titanic, it is truly amazing. It's a private business, it's a family business, and they're running the several hotels across the across this beautiful globe. You have the amazing spa, original Turkish spa. I'm strongly suggesting you to go. The food is fresh, it's on time, and as I say, it's impeccable service. This is one of the very few services I can say they're really looking into the guests as they should. As I say, Titanic, Gendarmarkt, it's a call hotel, Titanic, you want to remember, the indoor, it's been luxuriously, you know, fitted. It's something I will never say it's something wrong, I mean, because they're cleaning continuously, they're looking the spots on a table after you have the coffee, and they're cleaning, they're sending two people to clean. Besides, have the gym, has an original Turkish spa, and enjoy. So much about hotel. From this position, you can go to Brandenburg Gate, 10 minutes walk. You can go to the Führer Banka, 10, 15 minutes walk. You can go to American Embassy, again, 10 to 15 minutes walk. It's entire district of the embassies, it's nearby. So it's a, it's really, really been done well. So guys, enjoy. Plus, don't forget one more thing. Berlin, it's gonna be, it's gonna host European Soccer uh, Championship. So guys, be aware that it's gonna be a lot of guests, it's gonna be a lot of police, safe as it is very safe, so enjoy. That much about hotel, so enjoy. Titanic, it is a powerful name, you know, like when you think Titanic, but it is a very, very central place, you're gonna enjoy the taxi, one other thing, it is like a taxi is in front of hotel every two, three minutes. The people in reception are gonna call you, they're gonna ask, you know, whatever they can do for you to make you happy, literally to make you happy. So much about hotel. I just want to clear a few things right now because I want you to understand I don't have the sponsors, nobody pays me nothing, so all my reviews are reviews of the normal, ordinary citizen. Regardless of my expertise in human intelligence, espionage, and safety and security, that is a bonus when I do some reviews, but the point we try to make to you, I will do reviews as a somebody who is traveling like you. So I'm gonna always touch the points of the safety, security, transportation, infrastructure, and the service itself. Know how comfortable bed they are. Bed, I, bed is a bed, you know what I mean, guys? You know, you can have good beds, you can have bad beds. You can have a worse hotel, but get the best bed. You can have the best hotel, get the worst bed. Doesn't matter. We all have the different preferences, but that's what I try to clear straight away. My podcast has no sponsors. Nobody pays me nothing. Never will, I never will accept. So basically, that's I want you to clear straight away. When I started my traveling 17 days ago, I was going to the very massive preparation. And I was going to say this, preparation is the mother of all victories. Why is that? Because opportunity rise, you're going to be winner. I always come back to this one. When you're training and preparation meet opportunity, you're going to win in your life. It doesn't matter what's happened. At least you're going to learn. And that's a victory itself. So when I was traveling 
start my traveling, I was thinking myself, how am I going to do the DC daily vlogging, which is very challenging, I must say, it's very challenging. In Berlin, I want to spend more time out rather than do the vlogging, hence why I'm admiring everybody is uh, who is spending much more time doing the vlogging and reviews than being in some place they should be and enjoy. Berlin is a truly remarkable city. I said this uh, several times. This is a city which has been demolished, des des destroyed. It's been every brick was being turned inside, outside. Every street was a rubble. Every building was wiped from the map. And they yet they rebuild this city. Regardless on the east side or western side, today it's a one city. City has been rebuilt. There is uh, so many symbols. The history is so steeped that you can't miss enjoying the things. When you look in more the symbols you're gonna see on the ground than up. Most of the cities you're gonna see symbols on the buildings. Berlin it's on the ground because of the Berlin Wall, because of the things that's been it, it was like 35 years ago. There was a there was a death strip between east and west. Death strip. So that is something I want you to reconsider when you're going in Berlin as well. Preparation is a mother of all victories. I've been stopped to, when I was saying this because I have a housekeeping coming at my door to ask me if my room was clean. Guys, what I said, they're looking that you have the good, clean room. Now, come back this. Guys, every time when you do your traveling, do preparations. Whatever you fancy to do, is that's a, you want to study the city layout, you want to study where you're going to have the fun, where, uh, where you're going to take the photos, and according to that, adjust your equipment. When I'm traveling now, I can acquire a lot of versatile equipment for my podcasting, and that takes the space, it accumulates the weight, and you know the airlines, they love to bang you. So guys, I don't want to spend too much time talking about this, but every time when you go when you go on traveling, try to prepare yourself. Do preparations. You're gonna win and you're gonna enjoy your trip. Except if you don't, if somebody pays you to go for a trip and they need to do reviews, that's a different story. This morning I wake up on day 17. I'm very very happy. For what reason? Well, I had a plan. I planned something from Australia to do in Berlin. One of these things it is to go into a museum. Not just to so see what's happening in the museum, but for some something different. I uh, arranged to interview people to talk about Stasi. Those who don't know that Stasi was the one of the most ruthless, efficient intelligence agencies in 20th century. Unfortunately, it has been as well agency and secret police involved in that aspect of their work where they're torturing their own citizens, right? But my my conversation, my interview was going direction of the how powerful, how strong, and how effective they were in foreign intelligence, and they were quite quite effective because I spoke with a gentleman called Florian Shimkovsky. I'm hoping Florian, I say your surname properly. He told me a few times. So Florian Shimkovsky is from the Deutsche Spy Museum. This museum it's covering all aspects of espionage from the dawn of the humankind. So guys, go there. I'm going to put the comment section below the link. You can go there. So I'd like to say very much thanks to my host, Florian Shimkovsky, who showed me the symbols in Berlin, which you can see where the Berlin Wall was run and uh, why the buildings never been built there and uh, how the death strip was working in that respect. Uh, the best way it is when we do research for my podcast, I'm doing research in a way that I want to talk about facts and opinions. And uh, Florian is an expert on these things and disclosed me today quite a number of information which I'm going to put in special episode of Stasi. So today I wake up very, very happy talking about Stasi, intelligence agencies, how they successful they were against the CIA, the, you know, other foreign NATO intelligence agencies and why Berlin is a capital city of spies so we talk about this aspect very much and how the espionage was working during the Cold War and uh, as well involvement of the Vladimir Putin so when I was driving back with a taxi from the Potsdam Platz now I can put geographically in my head you know these locations because as I say when you look the movie Downfall which was the uh, last couple of days of Adolf Hitler 
in his Führer Banka here in Berlin. Now we understand why Hitler was, you know, he gave up of everything very quickly when he heard that there is a say, the Russians there in the Potsdam Platz or Pankow, which was very, very close, very few kilometers from his bunker. And he knew that this Reich, thousand year Reich was collapsing and it was just uh, in a couple of square kilometers big, his third Reich. So, you know, I understood how this effect have on a people's brain in a war circumstances in this this situation out of hitler because poznan platz was very well known for the very heavy battles in second world war so guys this is my day 17. tomorrow i'm flying to dubai and going back home needless to say doesn't matter what we do in your life you need to be prepared whatever you do guys so the one of form preparations is the training right you can do preparations by doing study the theory or you can prepare yourself by doing some type of training in whatever circumstances you can find yourself. Somebody that can be in podcasting, someone can be done in, in fitness, someone can do in traveling, but you always train yourself. Never stop evolving around yourself. I'm seeing this city and this city, it's a great example. It's continuously evolving, continuously growing. Try to heal the wounds, which not, they are not so, not all, like Berlin Wall collapsed 35 years ago this year. Second World War ended 80 years ago. So it's not something like, you know, a couple hundred years old, like a French Revolution, you know what I mean? Try to be you. Tomorrow, as I say, as I, my traveling becomes the closer and closer towards the end, I become a little bit exhausted with doing the vlogging as well. I don't know how people can do this. But as I say, like, I know it's a difference when you're on a plane and you're doing your first business class, you're sitting your day with your lovely ass, you know what I mean? And it's like, okay, my camera is here, I'm doing eating, I'm doing sleeping, uh, cushions are good, this and that. It looks fun, fantastic. But guys, when you go overseas, try to record everything. I'm doing a lot of, a lot of journaling and it helps me a lot. So guys, that's it for day 17. I'm gonna step it out. I'm gonna enjoy a little bit more time. I'm wishing you awesome, awesome day ahead. Leave the comments below. Berlin was good to me and I highly recommend to you visit Berlin. So see you tomorrow in Dubai.